welcome back to my channel. This vlog is going to be a girl's trip to Cape Cod. It is Friday, I believe May 7th, and I'm kicking off early. My girlfriends and I, Caitlin, Kaylee, Brittany, and I, we're not leaving for Cape Cod till tomorrow. We got a room at like a Hilton in Hyannis, but it's like about four o'clock on Friday and we're going to Broadway in Southie. We're really having a crazy week because we're celebrating being done with grad school and getting our masters. I feel really cute. I have my hair in this like clip that you guys probably can't see and some earrings in this like bodycon dress these white sneakers and a jean jacket so that's the vibe we're going to get drinks and then tomorrow morning we will leave i don't know what time for cape cod but i'm really excited because i'm looking forward to being on the ocean and just being with the girls and celebrating dressing up you guys know so yeah off to southie <music> For anyone that cares, probably none of you, but I took the green line to Park Street and I transferred to the Red T. Made it here with perfect timing, just enough to walk to Broadway. But someone explain to me why I moved to the Northeast when I'm trying to have a hot girl spring and it's literally 50 degrees and so now I'm cold, but I'm working up sweat while walking, so it's fine. Once I'm in the restaurant, we're gonna be fine. But Southie is so cute. Like if I could have lived here, I would have really enjoyed that. Um, very much so like a party-esque vibe because it's a lot of young people, but anyway. So literally no one would ever ask for my fashion advice, but let's see if I can, oh, there we go. So yeah, I'm just in this skin tight dress with this jean jacket, I'm gonna keep this on all night, but, and then I have my white sneakers. So yeah, I came in to use the loo and now I'm just waiting for the girls to get here. So this place is crawling with um, attractive young people. So yeah. <laughs> So back home, Broadway was great. Drinks were good. Did you guys see my drink? It was so pretty. It was a gin drink. I love gin and vodka. And it was like purple on top with that orange flower. Oh, so cute. And then I had tacos and we just kind of walked around Southie and then we all got the tea home. I still have my makeup on. I need to take it off. And now I'm just vibing, watching the show called Shrill on Hulu. My sister recommended it. And then tomorrow I'm going to wake up, record the podcast, work out, and then go pick up the girls at 1130. So that is the plan. I'll see you guys then. It is Saturday morning. As you saw, I did a workout. I recorded the podcast. Oh, I don't think I recorded that, but I recorded the podcast. This week's episode is all about New England stereotypes, but more specifically, things that I've learned since moving to Boston. So you can go listen to that if you want. Um, the car is just about packed. I am going to go pick up Caitlin and Brittany. My friend Kaylee can't make it, and we're really bummed about it. It was super last minute, so my roommate Allison is actually going to join us. But I'm super feeling very prepared because I have a beach blanket. I have chips. I have a speaker. I have some pink lemonade. I have a jar of salsa and I have cookies. So we are ready for the beach. Even though in classic Boston springness, it is cloudy and like 50 degrees. So that sucks. But anyway, we're going to make the best of it. And yeah, I'm really excited. It's only an hour and a half drive to Hyannis and we're probably just going to get lunch. Uh, we can't go into the hotel room till four. So um, probably just root around, but I'm so excited. All right, you guys, I have done a terrible job at vlogging because it is Sunday morning. And I think last time I talked to you guys was when I was leaving the house with Allison. We left at like 11.20, picked up Caitlin and Brittany. And then we took like two hours to get here because the traffic was really bad. Got here at like 1.30 and then we went to lunch at this pizza place that was really good. I'll put in a picture of what I got. And then we went to the Cape Cod Winery, which I cannot recommend enough. It was so freaking cute. They had outdoor like live music and like patio lighting. It was so cute. And then we checked into the hotel. We were at the Doubletree Hilton, as you guys can see. It's a 
adorable little place. We just got like a two bed little dealio. And then we went to this place called the Little Caboose for ice cream. That was really good. And then the last thing we did was we went to a liquor store and got ciders and sours and we sat by the fire and enjoyed that. So now we're going to get coffee and donuts and to go to the beach. So yeah, we just checked out and now I'm packing the car. So I can't recommend Nirvana Coffee Company in Barnstable enough. I just got a hot chai tea and I dropped all of it. They had to make me a second one. I'm so embarrassed. I also got a yellow scone or a lemon scone. That's what's in that bag. Cheers, queen. Got it. <laughs> All right, what's been everybody's favorite part of the trip? For me, it's this. I was just yeah. to this is it. This, and I think um, I really like the pizza we had yesterday, but the Cape Cod like winery. Yeah, that for me was it. Okay, so I'm going to end off the vlog. You guys are probably alarmed, but I made it back home and I feel like I haven't talked about grief in a while, but today is May 9th, so it's Mother's Day. And um, I just had, I'm very emotional. I just had like the best weekend with the girls. I'm so glad we went, it was so fun. I wish my friend Kaylee could have tagged along, but I know she was with us in spirit and my roommate Allison got to go and meet my friends and that was really fun. We, the last thing we did was we, Went to Nirvana Coffee, we got chai tea and a scone, that was what I got anyway. And then we went to the Mayflower Beach, which is on like the top of the boot. And so the water was really cold, so none of us went swimming, but it was just like the most beautiful day. And then when we drove home, we were listening to like the Dixie Chicks and Casey Musgrave. So I was in my feels thinking about my mom and then I came home and I need to unpack all my stuff still. But my friend Tira sent me this beautiful bouquet of flowers. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's got lilies and roses and like the biggest vase ever. It just made me ball. So anyway, happy Mother's Day to you guys whenever you're watching this. Um, and yeah, I hope you enjoyed this like Cape Cod vlog. Obviously I was in the moment and trying to enjoy it as much as I could in person. So that's why there wasn't a whole lot of talking during the vlog videos that I got. But anyway, take care of yourself this Mother's Day. I'm thinking of you if you were also grieving loss of your mom or if you're a mom and you've lost a kid or like if you have a bad relationship with your mom, anything like that. So yeah, take care of yourself and I will see you guys in my next video, which should be my graduating from BU vlog. So yeah.